Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate how you can set up your event log and audit trail on Aviva Edge 2020, formerly known as IndoSoft Web Studio or Wonderware Edge. Event log on Aviva contains information such as uh, security login, tag changes, HMI changes, anything to do with systemic or tag value changes. Let's dive right straight into Aviva Edge 2020 Studio. For this demonstration, I'll be demonstrating you how you can set up your event log on a Microsoft SQL Server Express. First of all, you're going to have to set your database. Make sure you click on projects and options and then click on default database and you click on this uh, ellipsal, the three dots here. And this is where you set up your database. You set up your SQL Server where it's the database located, the username and your database name. And you click on test connection, make sure test connections are good. All the required table and uh, everything else is handled by Aviva Edge. So I've already set up my database. I'm just going to click cancel, cancel. And next thing you'll do will be to set up and enable your event logger tool. So go on global and on the global section here on the tree, there's a thing called event logger. Double click on event logger and by default, enable event logger is turned on. If you don't want to turn on event logger, just click on it. It will disable all the event logger. For this demonstration, we're going to turn this on. The first section on settings are more systemic event logging. So this security system pertains to who has logged in and uh, even contains information about your mobile access on a web page. You enable it, just put a check next to it. Display pertains to any changes to a display, recipe, changes to recipe, reports, custom messages, and system warning. So normally I like to put security and display and system warning. So at least it gives you a very broad spectrum of uh, security or systemic settings that are uh, being locked on the event table. You can also lock tag values in here on an event lock, but normally I don't really do it. There's, uh, there's another section called pending that you can actually store those values in. So if you click on event database, Everything will be grayed out because I'm using the default database. But if you're not, you can actually uh, specify the database that you're going to use. You double click on Epsilon again, the same usual stuff. So normally I, I define one database as a project default database and I work with it. I'm going to get cancel here, cancel here. So once that is done, uh, make sure you click on play to start. Once it's running, it will start creating all the tables, all the necessary tables on a SQL server. To view your event, you got to have a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Log in. Go to your database and expand your database that you're working on or uh, that you have set up with. Then click expand tables. All these four, in fact, these two tables are created by the system itself. These two are actually created by myself on the settings. But for our event logging, they're all stored in event history. So you right click, select top 1000 of them. But when you do select 1000 of them, it, it shows you uh, based on the last event. So if you want to go with the latest event, you go order by, by event time. That's your field, which means it's this column and it, it's going to be descending and then run it. You can see who has logged in and who opened the screens. So every activities are in here who open and close the screen. So these are the displays uh, that we have enabled to track. I hope this tutorial helps. If it does, please give me a like or subscribe to my channel for the latest Aviva tutorial. Thanks. Bye.